being very smart. Cheers, dude. Nice one, mate. Rob, well, thank you. I saw Mike earlier, and he's got pretty much the glasses on that you wear in the film, so uh, yeah. it's pretty good. He violently took them away from me, I'll have you know. They actually were the glasses from the Vilt. No, they weren't. I'm joking. But he no. looks cool, doesn't he? He does look very cool, as do you. But um, you're, we're used to seeing you play sort of characters that are a little bit off the wall, a little bit crazy. Yeah. So what was it like to represent someone who's a little bit more bookish? Fantastic. It was a real change. I mean, I, I think it was, it was really important for me to play Mike. And I mean, it's so rare you get to meet the man you're about to be as well. So it was a real a real experience, I'll be honest with you. I could. It, it was important to meet him. I took away mannerisms, you know, little things he did with his face. He didn't have a beard, you know. Um, yeah, he was obviously a really integral part of, of the change. But do you have any personal affinity to it? Obviously, you're a little young, but was there anything that made you really want to do this project? What was it that spoke to you about it most of all? I can tell you what, what, what um, stood out for me was the sort of how brutal it was for gay men and women back then to think you could be arrested for being gay, to think you could lose your job for being gay. I mean, for our generation, I mean, that just sounds so ridiculous, doesn't it? And that, and that went on, and that was only 30 years ago. Um, especially, the, the, I remember my dad shouting at the television, Margaret Thatcher had come on the news, and be like, you fucking this, you fucking that. And I never understood it. I, ne I could never quite work out why. I get it now. I get what she did. It was brutal and disgusting. And I'm just very proud to have been a, a part and show our, our generation what really went on back then. I think it's incredibly important. We all see it. Absolutely. I totally agree. And finally, um, I was asking some of the others earlier about if you guys, well, if this group were around now, obviously social media is so, well, it's everywhere, basically. Yeah. And the Ice Bucket Challenge, as an example, yeah. is something that people are doing to raise money, raise awareness. But if, if you lot were around now, what do you think their equivalent would be? Because I feel that's really, I think that's really small for them. I think they could do something far bigger. How do you think what they would work now? The what, 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 what do you think their version the would be? challenge. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I really don't know. That's a mental question. Um, um, no, you've lost me. I'm, I'm genuinely lost for words on that one. I'm so sorry. I'm hot. I've just never stopped talking since I got on it. Go just film down there, film the line. Here's a warm Stick one. Stick your pole out. Stick your pole out. Look at these swines down there. They're all really politically based questions. I'm not, I just. I'm just an actor. Tell us what you're doing next then, Joe. Like what am I doing next? I'm doing This Is England 90s next. I can't tell you how excited I am about that. It's going to be wonderful. It's always a real experience. It heals it all up working with Shea Meadows. It's amazing, man. There's never been, I've never had an experience like it in my life working with Shea. So it's going to be... It's going, we're going to go out with a bang, I promise you that. I promise. Very excited. You two are perfect together, so look forward to that. Thank you. Thank you.